following rainfall events and there's also standing water following significant rainfall events. So talks between the landowners and Upper Thames, it was decided that a wetland was a good option here. It's hard to tell that it was only constructed three months ago. It looks great. Uh, in addition to the trees and shrubs that we planted, we recently added 700 aquatic plugs that will spread and fill in the perimeter of the wetland. Um, there is also vegetation that's just come back naturally and several large magnitude rainfall events have filled our wetland with water. So it's utilized now by several bird species and different insects. So it's just a bit of a transformation in a short period of time. First off, it looks great and you're creating both terrestrial and aquatic habitat. There's also a water quality function. So the water behind us is the water that the pond received from surface runoff and tile drainage, as well as the rainfall itself. So as the water's held in the wetland, any sediment will settle to the bottom and any nutrients associated with that sediment. The vegetation fills in, you have a nutrient cycling benefit and the water now in the pond will be able to slowly infiltrate um, as well as be lost to evaporation and under conditions where there is a lot of water we do have a standpipe where that water can be slowly released. The partners of this project are the Upper Thames, the Ontario Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs, Ontario Power Generation and the Clean Water Project.